guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be focused on the lower region. Just going to be trying to bring some mobility to that area since a lot of us do tend to sit in front of screens or just sit a lot in general. So we are going to be focusing a lot on the groin area, the hips, and the buttocks area as well. So go ahead, grab a mat, and let's get started. We'll begin by bringing our arms up overhead and down into prayer. We'll do this two more times. Bring those hands into prayer. We're going to walk those hands forward, bringing our chest to the ground or bringing our chest as far as possible and just breathing here as you feel that stretch along the back of the hip. Walk those hands on back, switched legs. We're going to do the same on the other side. Again, bringing those hands up and over down into prayer two more times here. Then we will bring those hands forward again, getting a deep stretch as we bring that forehead and chest down to the ground and allow that body to just lengthen while breathing here. Roll on out and bring those feet to a butterfly position. We're going to begin by just readjusting. Remember, bring those shoulders back and just bringing those legs in and out or up and down more so, just kind of flapping and warming up that hip area. We're going to begin by pushing down one leg, of course, breathing while doing so. And you have the option to stay on the foot, grab the ankle for a deeper stretch or you can also have your arm behind you which just allows you to push into that hip even deeper again remember to breathe Come off of that leg and we are just going to bring it up and down just a few times here just to give that area some more mobility. Now we are going to do the same on the other side. Again, pushing that knee down, option to keep the arms, or excuse me, keep the hands on the foot, come to the ankle, or you can bring that arm behind the body just for an even deeper stretch. Bring that knee up and down, again up and down a few more times here. Once again, just loosening up that area that we just stretched. Now we are going to put both hands on both knees, trying to bring them both down at the same time here while exhaling while doing so. And while you're here, see if you can find a little flow in the body, maybe coming deeper a little bit further, bringing that chest in and hollowing, maybe some cat cows in this butterfly position, if you will. You also have the option to bring that head down to your feet while extending those arms forward, trying to get a deep stretch within those hips. Mm -hmm. 
begin to roll that body on up making sure your head is the last thing to come up come on to the back of your mat we're gonna shake out those legs and just loosen up that body we're gonna come and flex our feet as hard as possible flexing and pointing trying to get those feet off the ground while doing so this is just going to warm up that area that we are going to stretch here now we're going to bring our left arm to our right leg or our right foot and just twist slightly bringing the gaze down to a slight diagonal. If you do want to go a little bit deeper, bring that hand to the middle of the foot, again keeping that slight turn. And depending on your flexibility level, you can certainly try to grab the heel of your foot while keeping that turn and breathing here. Then we are going to face that right leg and just try to bring our chest and our nose down to that knee, adjusting as needed, making sure that back is as flat as possible, and of course keeping in mind your breathing techniques. Of course, we must do the same on the other side. So bring that right leg to your, or excuse me, that right hand to your left leg and just do that slight twist here, keeping that gaze at a slight diagonal. And of course, if you did want to take the variations by going deeper, bring that hand to the middle of your foot while keeping that slight turn. And of course, you can try to go for that heel as well. Then bring the body forward just to hover over the left leg. Of course, we're going to try to bring that chest down to our knee and readjusting as necessary, making sure you are in the proper form. Of course, you do want to breathe and challenge yourself here. roll that body on up very slowly here we are now going to take just a few ankle circles here by just bringing the feet inward and outward we'll do this a few times here Now we are going to grab our big toes, both of our feet, bringing those shoulders back and bringing our forearms to our shins just to get a deep stretch here. If you would like a deeper stretch within those hamstrings or just trying to get closer to that forward fold, bring those hands or those arms underneath your or in the back of your knee just to protect you from overextending or hyperextending and breathe here, bringing that chest down to those thighs. we are going to come on up and come into a figure four position so go ahead and bring that right leg over your left leg and we want actually a hard flex within that right leg to make sure we are isolating the glute area we are trying to stretch out so stay here and you can also roll your arms back and bring them down a little bit further to get an even deeper stretch in that side hip
option to grab that arm and hold it into your chest to get an even deeper stretch within that side hip area. bring that knee down and we're just going to take a slight twist bringing our gaze to the back or the corner of the wall and breathing here then we're going to fold that right leg on top of that left leg and just kind of fall forward as deeply as possible while making sure not to overextend here. This is a deep stretch and we don't want to cause any injuries. Come on out of that stretch, shake it out if necessary, and we're going to do the figure four on the left leg now. Again, making sure there is a hard flex in that left foot to isolate the side hip area. Again, option to bring those hands a little bit further back just to deepen that stretch within that uh, side hip and then we are going to take that leg from the right leg and just cradle it here in the chest for an even deeper stretch Bring that leg down and of course look over the opposite shoulder. We're going to do just a slight spinal twist here again. We're going to fold that leg over the right leg. Again, breathing here. This is a very deep stretch within the hamstring. You possibly will feel it in the calf as well. come on out of that stretch shake those legs out roll the ankles if necessary we're going to come on down and find ourselves in a butterfly a laying down butterfly position just allowing gravity to take over and allowing those hips to open before we go into our frog stretch Bring those legs in and bring them back down, bring them in and each time while bringing them down try to push them even further to the ground. We'll take a few more here before coming into our frog stretch. Extend those legs and roll on up. We are going to come to our frog stretch. This is going to be a very deep stretch and it's going to open up those hips greatly. It is very important that you breathe here though.
hold the stretch here just a little bit longer. We'll be out in a few breaths, I promise. Come on out of that frog stretch, come to the back of that mat. We're going to come to just a slightly wide open child's pose here, bringing that chest down, forehead down to the mat, breathing here, recentering that body. We're going to then come to a pigeon pose position, another way uh, just to get a good stretch within that side hip area. Bring that right leg forward and make sure that you are centering yourself, making sure you're not leaning over to one side, making sure again you are centered, feeling that hip, that groin stretch. Bring those forearms down if you're looking for a deeper stretch. If you are looking for an even deeper stretch, you can certainly extend those arms and of course breathe here. come on up and grab for that back leg this is going to help get a good quad front of the quad stretch here for you push back into a plank and bring that other leg forward the left leg to come into another pigeon pose well we will repeat the sequence option to come to those forearms again Remember to breathe here and of course we can certainly extend those arms for an even deeper stretch if you did so on the other side. Before rolling up and rolling out, if you want to go ahead and grab that back leg for the quad stretch, forgot to do so when recording here. If not, just come into that downward dog and just feel and move as need be here. See what needs to be stretched a little bit longer or held a little bit deeper. Bring that left leg forward. We're going to come into a low lunge position. We're just going to readjust as necessary, just breathing here, just allowing that body to be pulled from both sides. We're going to then come down to our knee and just push back on that opposite leg. That's going to be a great calf stretch. Feel free to find some movement here, maybe doing some small pulses here, keyword small, just to get an even deeper stretch in that calf. We're then going to come back up and we're going to do the same on the other side, bringing that right leg forward, readjusting, centering yourself and holding that position here. Come down to your knee and again we are going to just stretch that opposite calf out that on that left leg finding some pulses here just again very small pulses to get an even deeper stretch
now we are going to get a quad stretch here since we missed that a little while back come on to your forearms and allow that body to fall forward if that's not deep enough open those um those legs up a little further and if that's not deep enough just fall all the way back while just allowing that front leg to be lengthened and breathing while it's doing so We are going to hit the hips one last time here, so bring that left leg out, bringing that right leg over the, um, that right foot over the left knee, and just allowing gravity to allow the other leg to fall. As you can tell, my hips are pretty tight, so my leg is pretty high in the air. <laughs> We will do the same on the opposite leg, bringing that right leg out and that left leg over that right. And again, allowing gravity to do its job and just breathing while it's doing so. Alrighty, come on up, bring yourself up, bring those legs into a butterfly position, just trying to see if you can get any deeper than you did in the beginning. And we are going to finish off as we started bringing those arms up and over into prayer three times here. fall forward and again notice if you see any changes in that stretch from when we first began the class to the end of the class. Roll on up and switch legs again bringing those arms up and over into prayer for three times before rolling forward and checking in with the body seeing if you feel that difference and flexibility and mobility. roll on up we are done with that hip kind of lower body sequence i appreciate you guys stretching with me as always <laughs> 